in America knew what the stereotypes were for the two political parties. Democrats were the party of the working class, coal miners, factory workers, your local beat cop. Republicans were the party of lawyers and doctors. They spent a lot of time at country clubs, remember? Things have changed a lot. Now Democrats have become the party of the elite professional class. They're consultants, eye bankers, socialites, eager to lecture you about open borders, global warming from their gated communities. Nobody knows that change better or has watched it more carefully than the author of Hillbilly Elegy, J.D. Vance. We spoke to him recently about it. J.D. Vance, thanks for joining us. Thank so you. because you don't live in Washington and you think bigger thoughts than the rest of us who are completely <laughs> consumed by this dumb news cycle, I want to ask you a broader question. The parties have realigned. They don't represent the same people they thought they represented or that they have represented for the last 70 years. I'm not sure their leaders understand this, but you do. Who do the parties represent as of right now? Well, at a big level, the Democratic Party increasingly represents professional class elites. Yes. And Republicans represent middle and working class wage earners in the middle of the country. Now, I will say, I think Democrat Democratic leaders kind of get this. If you look at the big proposals from the 2020 Democratic presidential candidates, universal child care, debt-free college, even Medicare for all, which is framed as this lurch to the left, but is really just a big handout to doctors, physicians, pharmaceutical companies, and hospitals, they sort of get that they're the party of the professional class, and a lot of their policies are geared towards making life easier for professional class Americans. The problem I have is that my party, the Republican Party, hasn't quite figured out that we basically inherited a big chunk of the old FDR coalition. The middle of the country, working and middle class, blue collar folks, the sort of people who work, pay their taxes, send their kids to the military. That's increasingly the base of the Republican Party. But the Republican donor elites are actually not aligned with those folks in a lot of ways. And so there's this really big mismatch, big picture within the Republican Party. So I'm completely fascinated by what you just said, something I've never thought of in my life, that Medicare for all is actually a SOP to the professional class. That's a whole separate segment, and I hope you'll come back and, sure. and unpack that all. But more broadly, what you're saying, I think, is that the Democratic Party understands what it is and who it represents and affirmatively represents them. Yes. Do, they do things for their voters, but the Republican Party doesn't actually represent its own voters very well. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, look at who the Democratic Party is. And look, I, I don't like the Democratic Party's policies. Most yes. of the times I disagree with them. But I at least admire that they recognize who their voters are and they actually just just as raw cynical politics do a lot of things to serve those, those voters now look at who republican voters increasingly are they're people who disrespect with the president yes. the campaign but the never trump phenomenon i think is primarily not about the president it's about the people who were most excited about somebody who was anti-elitist effectively taking over the Republican Party. They recognize that Trump was, whatever his faults, a person who instinctively understood who Republicans needed to be for. And at the end of the day, I think they, they don't necessarily want the Republican Party to be for those folks. They don't like the policy that will come from it. They don't like necessarily the country that will come from it. And so there's a lot of vitriol directed at people who voted for Donald Trump, whether excitedly exactly. or not. If the Republican Party has a future, it'll be organized around the ideas you just laid out, maybe led by you or someone who thinks like you. 